Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. The deadly Manchester Arena attack in 2017 affected a survivor's life in every conceivable way. The High Court has heard at the start of a harassment trial against a conspiracy theorist who claims the bombing was a hoax that utilized crisis actors. Bombing survivors Martin and Eve Hibbert are suing conspiracist Richard Hall for harassment and data protection at the London Court. The father and daughter were at the Ariana Grande concert in May 2017 and suffered life-changing injuries, with Mr. Hibbert left with a spinal cord injury and Miss Hibbert facing severe brain damage. Mr. Hall, however, has claimed that the attack in which Islamic extremist Salman Abedi detonated a homemade backpack bomb in the crowd of concert goers, was faked by government agencies with the crisis actors used. Mr. Hall is being sued over several videos and a book in which he has made claims that the bombing was a hoax, as well as secretly filming Eve and her mother at their house. In a video shared online, Mr. Hall demonstrated setting up a camera disguised in fake plant foliage which he planned to use to film Eve, now 21, to see whether she could walk. He later claimed he left a camera rolling in his van which was parked in a public place. Mr. Hall acknowledged in his video that Eve left the house in a wheelchair but added there was no evidence her injury was from the bombing. Defending the outrageous claims, lawyers for Mr. Hall said his actions were pursued for the purpose of preventing or detecting crime and that he has deleted the footage from outside the home. On Monday, Mr. Hibbert and Mr. Hall appeared at the high court for the first day of the trial with around 20 members of the public watching the proceedings across two courtrooms. Jonathan Price, for the Hibberts, said the pair were some of the closest to Abedi when he detonated the bomb and that the attack changed Mr. Hibbert's life in every conceivable way. They have both suffered life-changing injuries from which they will never recover, the barrister said. The court heard that Mr. Hibbert received 22 wounds from shrapnel, and Miss Hibbert suffered a catastrophic brain injury after a bolt from the bomb struck her in the head, leading to her being presumed dead at the scene. Mr. Price added, Martin, paralyzed, saw Eve lying next to him with a hole in her head and assumed he was watching her die, unable to help. He saw others lying dead or injured around him. He continued, Mr. Hall does not accept any of this. His theory is that it is an elaborate hoax. He doggedly adheres to the assertion that this attack did not happen and that we are all being fooled, Mr. Price later said. The barrister said Mr. Hall has claimed Mr. Hibbert is lying, and that Miss Hibbert was disabled before the bombing. He continued, Mr. Hall says her parents are invoking their daughter's catastrophic disability as part of a huge fraud on the general public. Paul Oakley, for Mr. Hall, said his client is entirely entitled to have his views, which were formed after he scoured the public domain. He told the court, my client is perfectly entitled to hold his views and he is willing to amend them if he is made aware of evidence to the contrary. In written submissions, Mr. Oakley said Mr. Hall and his beliefs have the right to freedom of expression. He said, however unpleasant Mr. Hall's published views are considered to be, they are protected. Mr. Hibbert had made a positive choice to cooperate with the media concerning the attack, the barrister later said. As such, it is Mr. Hibbert who has come to the harassment and not the converse. The court was later told that, while there was one incident of filming, this was from a public highway and the footage was never published. Mr. Oakley continued, it is submitted that this single incident would not be sufficient to found an action. The trial before Mrs. Justice Stein is due to conclude on Thursday with a decision expected in writing at a later date.